Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a video on how to get into the OMS CS um, program. So this is the virtual master's program for Georgia Tech. A lot of people are curious about it, wonder about it throughout different forums, and so I thought I'd give my input and take on it as someone who has completed one year. So I'd say the first thing to do is to make sure that you have the right motivation be behind why you want to join. It is a long, strenuous process and it isn't easy. So know why you're joining the program. If it's just because you're trying to appease your parents or it's just the next natural step you think you should take because you studied computer science. That's fine, but it might be not so fun in the in the long run. The second thing I'd recommend is if you aren't from a computer science background like myself, then I would recommend that you prepare. I took two college level Java classes to prepare for my program. It wasn't easy, but I did it at night after work um, and on weekends. And that that helps. It shows that you can take a college level class and do well. Not just a college level class, it should be a college level class and you get an A. You really shouldn't get anything below a B. It doesn't show that you can um, have what it takes to do well in a vigorous computer science program. That leads me to my third point, which is I didn't realize how, well, I think this is important anyways. When I was taking my classes to prepare for the program, I happened to have a teacher who went to Georgia Tech and I think that that is powerful because she wrote me one of the best recommendations ever. So recommendation is really important because you're trying to get into a program where if you're a career changer they don't really know if you can succeed and they want people to succeed of course because that means that their program in general is a success. So I would say good recommendations from someone from Georgia Tech or the school you're applying to, right? In this case, Georgia Tech um, is from there and that's, that's really good. The fourth tip that I have would be to make sure if you're going to this computer science program that you're already coding to some degree because there's a lot of courses that require you to know things. So I noticed that the people that are best prepared for the classes are those that are already software engineers or have a background in CS. Once again, I don't have a background in CS, so it is a bit more difficult, but um, as long as you find people that want to help you, and that can be challenging, um, then it'll be okay. But you should be practicing it so that when you actually have the coursework, you can kind of just like flow into it. Otherwise, you might fail. And so that leads me to my fifth point, which is have a good community. I'm currently the chapter head for Atlanta, Georgia, which is where Georgia Tech is. And so if you're looking for friends in the Atlanta area um, or some of the other major cities in the U.S., there are currently, as of this semester, chapter heads for those cities. And we're actively organizing events per month, per week, depending on those cities. And when you meet these friends, this bridges the gap between what is an online program and what is a on-campus program, and it makes it a little bit easier, especially when you have friends that can study with you or help you out 
it's really nice in my opinion so one if you're in atlanta hit me up send me a message i will add you to the group two if you want other advice on the omscs program once again feel free to ask questions and i will um, answer all those questions to the best of my ability and three assuming that you're applying or considering applying to the omscs program it has gone more competitive over the years but it is doable so good luck